I think that my bit of rebellion is going to be to try to find joy and hope and put it out there because everybody else is also struggling with despair at this time. Um, and if a bunch of drowning people grab at each other, they're just going to drown faster. But if you have, if you take some time to hook yourself to shore, then you can reach out and grab somebody else, you know? So I'm going to be trying to do that. Which I think will hopefully give me the push I need to, like, stop doom scrolling, Things like that. You know? There's something I can do that maybe will help other people feel a bit better. So I might do that because it's better than doom scrolling, And it might actually be a net positive. So I will try to draw my inspiration from Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I think you can do worse. Vanna, look to Mr. Rogers for inspiration. Huh. <sighs> So talking a bit about despair in the real world and things like that, I think is a good segue <laughs> into Horizon Zero Dawn, which is an interesting combination of hope and despair. Um, it's definitely, for all that it's a post-apocalyptic story, um, it doesn't have an excessively negative view of humanity, if that makes sense. Like, the people who made this game are very aware of the worst of humanity, the consequences of the worst of humanity actions and, and behaviors um, and, and, and people putting themselves in categories that are harmful to others, um, rather than that people are like inherently evil, um, it's just they can choose to ally themselves with groups of people that just cause harm to others. Um, and this game has no illusions about that. And yet they do seem to fundamentally um, believe in love and goodness and hope in there, which is maybe part of why I like the story so much so far. Um, because things that are dark and edgy aren't really for me. Um, then things in which everything is fluffy and easy and soft, they certainly have their place, um, but they don't necessarily grab hold of me. I really need the darkness to hold on to. Um, and I think that this game manages to balance both of them. Um, like, they make a point of humanizing their villains, which I think is super important. It has real-world consequences to humanize the people that are doing bad things, or the people that are harmful to others. Um, when you start dehumanizing people, you remove your ability Like, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with dehumanizing. And a lot of times we think about the people in power dehumanizing those that they're about to hurt. Um, but there's also something dangerous about dehumanizing the people who are doing the hurting. And honestly, I will just say pragmatically, before you start accusing me of sympathizing with abusers, um, and if you've watched me stream before, you've heard me say this many times, but like the truth of the matter is that people who do bad things are human. And if you can get through to them, often when they're younger, and either break a cycle of abuse before it breaks them, or get through to them and help pull them away from whatever it is that's pulling them into a harmful worldview, um, you can actually prevent them from doing further harm. And if you dehumanize them and say, these people are just bad, you're cutting off your opportunity to prevent that further harm by saying it's inevitable. And it's not inevitable. It may be likely, but there's a difference between highly likely, high probability, and inevitability. And so that's part of why it is really important to understand why people do the things that they do that hurt people. Not because you have to forgive them and feel sorry for them and cry tears for their sad story. Giving somebody a tragic backstory doesn't make it okay that they do something hurtful to people. But ultimately, if your end goal is to reduce suffering in the world, you have to humanize those people. Otherwise, you have no chance of stopping them or of preventing the next round of them, you know? Um, and I've been talking about this since I streamed at least Mother 3, which was, I think, the the second game that I ever streamed. Maybe the third game I ever streamed. 
<laughs> back in like 2015 or 2016. So I think maybe that's that's my thesis statement. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn, I think, has a similar philosophy in how they view people. Um, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit. If I'm going to press this button, we're going to go into the game. You ready? For me to go into the game? To round two um, of, 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 of Lauren Talks, also known as a bit of recap? So this, that wasn't recap. I'm not going to label that one as, as recap when I put it on YouTube. Uh, so last time... <laughs> Oh my god, what didn't happen last time? No, I've talked a lot about like the narrative decisions that they made and how they were able to make the loss of Ursa feel meaningful. And it wasn't that they were trying to shock you so much as they were trying to force you to have to, to have a reaction to it instead of to try to guess what was going to happen next. Um, which I think is very clever um, and well done. Um, and was very effective. So the, the whole situation with Ursa was effective. I didn't sit with my feelings about that as long as I think I might normally. Um, partly because as much as I like Erin, I don't know Ursa. So a large part of what makes that scene work is that it is so convincingly rooted in long-standing, like, it, you believe the relationship between those two. You believe the story, that there's a lot of story and a lot of development and a lot of love and stuff, even if you haven't seen most of it yourself. Um, and you do have enough attachments to Aaron to, to kind of get that little bit into caring about it extra. Um, but they also, in some way, prevent you from getting too caught up in it um, by giving you things to go investigate, and next thing you know, you're discovering the bad guy's humanity, um, which I just talked about the importance of humanizing bad guys, and clearly that's what they wanted to do there. Um, but it was a really effective scene, um, and I'm curious what's going to happen when they kill a character that I do know, because all of the characters we've lost so far, except for Rost, have been virtual strangers. The loss of Rost, I think I cried. Um, you knew, I think as I knew that that was probably going to happen at some point in the story, but I didn't think it was going to happen then. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they do a very good job of building. Yes, so it is, it is part of, uh, what's interesting about the arc of Aaron's character narrator way, in my opinion, is again, like, Aaron is about to have a, a period of major growth and, and changing. Um, and so, in a way, Ursa's death is kind of an inciting incident for his, his story. It will now take off, he will change, he will grow, and he will evolve as a person because of that. But you get the feeling that there's been character growth and evolution prior to that that we haven't seen. So it's interesting to come into his story at what feels like relatively a late point, you know? Um, I don't know. I think that, um... I think that they're doing something really interesting with that. That's just, they've just made some decisions. Like, if I were to figure out when to tell the story, I would be tempted to tell the story of, don't tell me, don't tell me, Azad. Look at me, remembering character names. When did this start happening? Part of that is because the characters are in the story enough that, and part of it is maybe my brain is healing. Amazing. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, Avad, not Azad. Nah. <sighs> okay, fine. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I was so close. I was so close. Um, but yeah, um, I might have been tempted to make that the story. And I, like I said, I want, I want that prequel. What am I doing out here? Past Lauren, what were you doing? Oh. Oh, past Lauren wanted to go to the cauldrons and things like that. That's what she wanted to do. She's going to teleport over here and walk down to this cauldron and see what happens there. Um, but yeah, um, I got a little disjointed. Um, oh, maybe, no, I'm not going to go to that corrupted zone. I don't know why I'm doing it. Why am I? <sighs> Words. No, I, um, I don't know. I'm just excited to see where Aran's story is going to take us. Um, the pacing of this game, plot-wise, I have literally no sense of it because it's an open-world game, and they 
who even knows? Who even knows? Um, but I'm curious to see how much they're able to do with him as a character. Um, and I'm curious to see, like, you know, is he going to survive the rest of the story? I assume so. Um, but we'll see. Um, and then there was Olin's story that we went after, which had tons of exciting plot-related revelations. Um, first of all, we've learned the cultists are actually uh, Shadow Karja. So these two enemies that we've known about have been neatly folded into one, which is convenient. Um, we have some sense of where the corruptors are coming from. There was a voice in our head, the voice in the focus talking. That was significant. Um, just a lot of little drops there. Um, also the emotional, the brilliant emotional writing of the decision to spare uh, Olin or not was was incredible. It was incredibly good. Um, and uh, Aloy is a great character. And any of those answers that I gave would have been the Aloy version of that. But ultimately we decided, well, I decided I couldn't see her killing him in cold blood. And she wound up saving him and then saying, like, well, we're going to go rescue your family now. Let those be the first lives you save. I'm sorry, but I get chills just thinking about that line. It was so good. It was so good. So good. You know? So... That was a lot of story all at once. And so I think what I'm going to do is a little bit of sidetracking, if that's all right. Yeah, well, but trying to take the middle path, it does give you a big nope, but it also gives you a really effective little extra bit of scene. It's so good. Like, it doesn't feel like a but thou must, where you're just like, ugh. You know, you get rewarded for that choice with your character being indecisive. Um, letting you know that Aloy is conflicted. Um, although I suppose a person could think she wouldn't be conflicted, but I think she would be. Even if she decides to kill him, I think that she would have misgivings and I think that she would feel haunted by that. I think she would then go and save his family and my guess is that she probably does something like maybe lie to his family about him so that they can be proud of him and say, yes, you know, he fell and you need to go take care of yourselves and you know like that's that's kind of what I would expect all right day tower gate is not what we want we want we think we want to go here we may regret this we're gonna see how it goes all right so folks I'm gonna, uh, can I just, like, skedaddle down here? I think I can skedaddle down here. We're gonna do this. Who needs a quick way down? Yep, exactly. Oh my god, did you hear the echo there? Alright, let's see. Can we continue doing that? I think we can. To the robot dino factory. Yes. Let's. Oops. Oh, I should maybe actually scan things. But not falling off the edge, scanning things. That would not be good. Um, I think I can do this. Oh, or I could just, I could just do this instead. Let's just do this instead. That's a much better decision, Lauren. Don't go falling down mountains when there's a path down the mountain right beside you, no matter how excited you are about jumping up and down mountains. Just like words of wisdom from Lauren. To you. I'm here to help. Yes, I need medicine. A little bit low on medicine. So, yeah. I am... I think it's safe to say I'm finally deeply invested in some of the overarching contemporary story. Which is good. That was the thing that I was missing. Hello, piggy. Oh, there's a whole bunch of piggies. Do we take out a piggy? Yeah, we can take out a piggy. Oh, that piggy's running off, but this piggy's not. What weapon do I have equipped? Uh, let's put on our normal arrow. Alright, have a good dinner, blues. Alright, I'm gonna shoot a piggy. Oh, shoot! 
Oops. Didn't even give me special stuff and is now rolling all the way down there. Oh my goodness. Oh my god! <sighs> that piggy went all the way down here. Instead of just falling easy, over. Easy. I'm sorry, Aloy. I'm not trying to get you to fall down here. I'm just trying to get the piggy. Okay, I don't know what it is that I I don't remember what it is that I needed, but there were some things that I wanted to get. Wow! I love how hard it is to walk. Um, both with the wind blowing the way it is, which I assume is a a regional weather hazard, and uh, the angle that we're walking at. I'm pretty sure that the original this little piggy is kind of like that. Look, there we go. See? Look at that. Unidentified signal. We're getting closer. Alright. So there's probably a way that we're supposed to go to get here. But that's not the way we're going. We are going to... I don't think this counts as Skyrim horsing our way up a mountain. But it is definitely a kind of roundabout way of moving. Hold on. What is this? What are you? What are you? Yes, medicine. Know when I might need these. I do want medicine. All right. And we're going to carefully walk awkwardly. Slowly and awesomely. Have I, have I explained the slowly and awesomely thing before to you? I probably have. That seems like the sort of thing I would do. Do I hear something weird? Probably. What do I hear? Cauldron row. Actually, I don't know how to say that word. Is it row? Did I go past it the wrong way? Or did I go the right way? Oh, is it, is it right down there? Oh, jeez, look at that. I should just shoot them all from up here. They, there's nothing they can do about it from up here. I should probably actually approach from an angle that's not gonna oops get me killed that didn't get me killed I'm lucky good job how am I doing on wire oh I I stocked up on wire I bought a lot of wire and everyone was like oh my god Lauren you don't need to buy so much wire and I was like yes I do so hopefully we will be able to sniper to snipe you see fire kiln root is great and all, but it's not actually what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is healing. Healing herbs. Oh, look at that! It's a piggy! Hi, piggy! Alright. No, it's a valid question, honestly. It's a very valid question. I beat the piggy to death. I'm sorry, piggy. Looks good. I don't know if that's what I was looking for. I don't think it was, but... Oh, goodness. Alright. Well, uh... I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to get down there, but, uh... But it might be how I'm going to get down there. We're gonna try to reverse sky... Oh, we might have hit the limits. Oh, jeez. How on earth am I supposed to get down there? Oh, am I supposed to come from around there, aren't I? Uh, um, all right. Hi, buddy. What if I snipe you? go. One more down. Okay. Oh, shoot. One down. Please do not summon your friends. You're gonna summon your friends, aren't you? Hold 
on. Okay. Well, that could have gone water. Could have gone gone a lot worse. Could have gone a lot worse. I had the high ground, you see. Now we'll just cruise on over. In theory. Oh, there's a campfire. Where? Oh, hold on. What's that? There's the campfire. Oh, maybe I was supposed to go there and do that first. Maybe I should, maybe I should go save. I think I'm going to go save. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Sorry, folks. There's a whole bunch of these guys. I hope they don't actually go to the cauldron. There were some of these by the cauldron, the last cauldron. The first time I encountered them was by the first cauldron that I encountered, I think. Oh, no. Turn right. Turn right. Do not go see that I've just killed a lot of things. Please do not. Oh, good. Okay. We're all good. Do you notice they have lights that pulse as they walk? I wonder why that is. It kind of makes me think of a... Uh, like, you know, you're like towing a heavy thing, you know? Hold on, we're gonna see if we can get some healing herbs here. Yes, and then we're gonna go save. Like a good and responsible person. Yeah, the watchers escorting them is a thing that they've been doing. Um. Which it's definitely seems to be a thing. Like, it feels like they're going somewhere. I guess it would make sense for them to be going to the cauldrons, really. Even though we don't actually see them going into the cauldrons, um, I think that the implication here would be that they are carrying cargo to and from, like, maybe things that the cauldrons need to uh, continue making robots or something. That's not what I'm looking for. Well, that's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. We're just gonna raid these dead bodies that I left here. Oh, look at that. They've even got... Oh. There were some dudes that got killed out here. Who are these dudes? They're purple. Are they Shadow Karja? Hmm. I don't trust... Hmm. All right, we're gonna do this. Just gonna take a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be like watchers' lenses and watchers' hearts and things. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I knew there was gonna be somebody else. What are you, my friend? Probably not my friend. You're probably not my friend. What are you? What are you? What are you? Network uplink. Oh, okay, that's not actually an enemy. Well, that's something. Those guys, I think those are Shadow Karja. Because I think that the regular Karja wear red. Don't they? I think they do. All right, cauldron. How am I going to get over there? Do I have to like... What's it called? Parkour over there a little bit? I mean, they did give me a main character who can do parkour, so... I did save, didn't I? Did I not save? I might have. I might not have. Hold on. We're going to double check. We're going to double check. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I did or not. What are you, are you healing? I don't want fire kill roots. I need that. I need healing more than fire kill roots. I think the purple guys are shadow cards. I'm trying to remember. I mean, really what they look like is, 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 uh, Shinra guys, you know? Oops, wrong button. Uh, that, but, you know? Because they wear, like, the purple blue bodysuit thingies with armor and helmets yeah okay let's see did we save makers end wait am I in makers end no that's the main plot plot thingy that's the one of the plot thingies I've got okay well who knows but I did definitely save there it doesn't tell you where you saved does it it just tells you that you saved and what quest you had active they are assuming that I'm going to have the active quest that I'm on right now. 
that they are assuming wrong. All right, shall we go try to parkour across there and see what we can do? I think we're gonna wanna go to the left here because it looked like that was where there's a path. Um, because there's a light you see. But I don't actually know. Oh, I have to climb down there. Okay, looks like I climb down there. Okay, I can do this. I can do this, Aloy. Looks like I'll be coming back up. Oh. Oh, look at how close I am to a level. Part of me is like, maybe I should just go shoot some other dudes so I can maybe get a level. How do I get up there? Or get over there? Oh, good. Healing herbs. So I'm going to assume... Yeah, okay. I'm going to assume that the level design is going to take me where I'm going. I suppose I should actually look and see. Like, that would definitely kill you if you fell. Even if you're Aloy. This is a definitely much harder to get to. Like, there's much more of an effort to get to this one than the first one. Medicinal sal salve brush. That's a word that is not pronounced the way that I thought it was when I was a kid. It's salve. Not salve. But I thought it was salve, you see? Alright, can I, can I, can I, oop. Climb down here? Is there a place I can climb down? There, this looks, this looks, yeah, look at that. I'm trying to identify the yellow. Okay. We're down one more level. It's really cool looking. It does have a some kind of liquid flowing through that pipe. Where, Aloy? What pipe? I don't even see a pipe, Aloy. Where? Oh, is wait, that's the pipe. Oh. What are, what are they what are they Okay, this appears to be like the calcified type stuff on top of it, just like in the bunker. Okay, we're gonna walk across the pipe. Have a slight Super Metroid flashback. Going through pipes in that case. Interesting, okay, so there's a liquid flowing through that pipe. Could be water. Could be something more nefarious that they're pumping out of the earth, but I don't know. We repel down, shall we repel down? I guess this is going to be one way. I think these things tend to be one way. Oh, look, there's a bonfire. That no, that's not a bonfire. What's that? Wow. It's all the way down there. Jeez, that's... I mean, I'm glad I'm not afraid of heights. I'm afraid of plenty of other things. The heights, fortunately, are not among them. All right, Aloy. Wow, how is a tree growing down here? Wait, is there- there's water. There's water. Where's the water? Because there's reflection. See, it looks like it's reflection off of water. Maybe it's not. Man. Yeah, I thought I heard something. What? Turbine? Moderate impact may reverse polarity, so if you hit it, it spins the other direction. Nice. What is this? Vent. Ah, yes. Okay. Well, I am no longer su- Is that blue? Maybe it's ice? I don't know what it is. I don't trust this place. I'm not super ridiculously above level here, like I was the last one, so I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get my butt kicked. Because I have the feeling that these are- There's the water. I get the feeling that these are supposed to be super hard and scary. My last time was kind of intense. I fought a. Looks like I'm not the first to look for a way in. What a waste. Okay, well, we're getting some healing. Who or what are you? Oh, shoot. I wonder whether this person fell. Oh, there's a few of them. Huh. Is 
Did I miss anything else up here? Let's double check. Make sure there's not going to be like... What do we got going on here? Magnetic container rails. Those are the things you grab hold of. Oh, this one's going to be... Oh, man. I'm going to have to figure out my way around. Oh, it's going to be hard. These guys don't... These guys aren't wearing the purple, though. I don't know. I wonder. Like, who is trying to come here? So there wouldn't be any trying to get into the other one because it was... In the vicinity of Nora territory. And the Nora are not going to come into one of these. Um, but the rest of... Um, the rest of the people do not have the... Uh, I'll tuck that away. Terrible name. Um, they do not have... Um, any sort of taboo against this. Destroyed watcher. All right, so we're gonna have to be careful. Okay, hold on. We got a map. We're not quite in the thing yet. Got it. Oh, look at that. There's a big old bird. Quarry. I wonder, because it looks like this has been carved away into his distinctive shape. I don't know. I'm probably overthinking things. All right, let's try it. Let's let's try it. I wanted to also look for another vantage point. Um, but, and if I get too scared of this. Oh, am I all full on healing? Okay, good. Uh, so we'll see if I get too scared of this. Okay, I have found the entrance. Excellent. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. They were curious too. But I'm better prepared. I appreciate that she's not so cocky, you know? Like, she's like, oh, I'm, I am, I mean, she is objectively better prepared. These aren't the cultists, though. They're definitely not the cultists, which would be kind of what I might expect. Uh, let's switch our quest to the cauldron quest that we're on. Oh, it's a late, wait, level 11? Are you serious? Was I supposed to do this 13 levels ago? Almost 14 levels ago, because I'm about to get to level 25. We're going to come out here and be cautious about this. Are you going to investigate? What's going on, buddy? Come on! What are you doing? Are you just a sentry? Just like standing there being a sentry? It contains non-toxic gas that may obstruct visual detection. Come on. Buddy. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm the slowest person ever. Yeah, I thought I wasn't, but that doesn't that, doesn't that mean that this one is actually even like an even lower level? Hold on. Uh. Come on, buddy. You're going down. Oh, shoot. There we go. Whew. Hope his friends didn't notice. Is this one even lower level than the other one? Somehow? I feel like I might have done really badly. Oh, look at that. So clearly, like, the hint that they tell you with the focus was not enough. This is what this tells me, is that playtesting people couldn't figure that out. So they were like, okay, fine. We will, uh, we will make it clearer. Which is good, honestly. The point of a game. Circular device. What does it do? Once again, Aloy is here trying to solve puzzles. So presumably I'll be able to grab hold of it and ride it over that way. But let's make sure we kind of know what we're getting into first. It's down there. Nothing. Turbine. 
So the writing on this sounds very like the focus. The focus has not quite to the extent of like the um, in Hades, your your codex, um, where it's very clearly one person's voice describing it. Um, the ter- that's a term. The 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 focus doesn't quite have that personality per se. But rotating transformer of unknown design. Moderate impact may reverse polarity. Can support human weight. Uh, oh. <sighs> Looks like things are going my way. That's funny, Aloy. Okay. Can I can I can I jump on it? Probably gonna die if I how do I what can I do here? I don't have a hook shot. So I think I might have to jump for it, but I, I, I assume. Oh, thanks, Aloy. Okay, well, fortunately, she's on top of it. And here we go. Okay. We're gonna look up the map. Man, they are scary looking, aren't they? Oh, this is big. This is a big place. All right. Well, we will do our best not to die. Well, just the way that the focus is written doesn't sound like, like it's 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 clearly written with the assumption that the person who that rushing sound again. The focus is not like this. This focus is 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 for somebody scientific minded. You know, like this isn't the um the focus that uh. I would expect a child to have, or somebody who's going to be like watching TV with it. This is a, and you know, maybe I'm overthinking things. That wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> you know, but just the way that that's descri described wouldn't make any sense. And there've been a few other things like that, which is why I'm I'm able to say or feel like I'm able to say that it is a. That it is intentional and a stylistic thing about the way this particular... Oh, look at that. What are you? A supply crate, huh? Can I get down there the other way? Or is this the way to do it? This appears to be the way to do it. Ugh, this scrapes. I'm sorry, Aloy. Aloy's like, come on, Lauren. Why are you doing this to me? I, I'm sorry, Aloy. I'm just clumsy, okay? Is that water? I don't want to touch it. Okay. Well, I seem to be okay, so that's good. I was saying something. I don't know if it was important or not. Oh, the focuses. Yes. Um, and so I wonder, because she got it from somebody in that first bunker, you know? Which was... Like, like whose focus was it? Which one of those scientists... Like, I don't remember if we know whose focus she takes, but it definitely belonged to one of them. And so it makes sense that the... Uh, the writing in it, the voice that it uses, is appropriate for one of the scientists in that bunker. Jeez. Magnetic container rail. Oh, man. Because you know that there are other focuses out there. Like, you know that people use their focus for things that aren't scientific curiosity because we get ads for those and things like that um so i wonder whether aloy's focus happens to be particularly well suited to her creative inquisitive mind i would say inquisitive is actually a very good aloy word I, 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 um is that the ground what what am i hearing what is going on can i just jump down there i bet i can't just jump down there i bet i can't uh, what is that? Event. So there's probably gonna be bad guys around. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that answers that. I could jump, and I did jump. I'm sorry I'm, like, literally the slowest person in the world. Oh, man. Alright, Blue Glass. Well, I'm glad to know that you're mini-golfing. So for those of you who haven't played the game before and therefore don't know these things, do you steer clear of spoiler chat um, when we when we play through these games? 
I really hope I don't die here. Okay, hold on. We gotta get ready. Yes, I hear you. What are you? A ravager. Cool. Great. Okay, so we've got a watcher. Another watcher. A ravager. Okay. Uh... Appears to just be those. Okay, so the Ravager is going to be a lot harder. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay, it doesn't see me. That's good. It's interesting that if you're oops, if you're if you're if you're on something like that, did you see how my focus like stayed on it and it was walking with it? That's neat. All right, I want to take out the little guys so that I can then focus on the big guy. I'm really not sure how to do that. Maybe, maybe I can back up here. Is this a vent? No. Oh, is it? Okay, that's good to know. What is that green thing? Oh, it's the same as the thing that I was on before. Okay, okay we're going to try this. Did that go off into space? What happened? What are you? Okay. Cool. One down. One to go. Wow, I didn't hit it, okay. It's it's concerned. Come on, buddy. Okay, hold on. Okay, two down. That's what we wanted. Okay, now hold on, what weapons have I got? I could throw this on fire. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this. This. I do not want to be in here with that need guy. To find a way through that shell. Shoot! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. This is gonna be really bad. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Get through there! Get through there! Get through there, Aloy! Get through there. I need to switch to a different weapon. Oh jeez, 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 oh jeez. Oh Come on, Aloy. Wasn't it? Thank you, folks. Well, I probably should put them in my like description of what I'm doing, but I'm I'm here in a cauldron, but I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. Machine savage scavenger box. Yeah, Raptor with nice. me. Okay. Pick up the rock. Which actually everything honestly went according to plan here, which is which is pretty great actually. What are you? Network uplink, okay. Those things. Well, they're not just like, oh shoot. Wait, no, you're an uplink, you're not a bad guy, okay. 
sorry. I'm just like, I'm like, I'm, I'm just, I'm concerned is all. I'm concerned about things. These look like the containers that the hermit crabs use. That's right, and we've, we, we've encountered hermit crabs in these, so clearly they are involved here, and that's why we keep encountering them on the way to these. Like I, like I said, we don't see them come in, but I think we're, we can extrapolate that they would if the game had that level of, like, actually, fully, accurately, what? 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 Is shield? What? Oh, but I'm an organic matter, so I probably wouldn't go through there. What is, what is this? I guess I can't see. All right, sorry, I got distracted. And then that's right, there's this weird, weird brainy substance. I don't know. I don't know, man. I guess I'm probably gonna wanna hit this thing and then ride it over. Like, this looks like unnecessary growth, you know? Like, this doesn't look carefully planned, but then you've got a symbol right there, which is also unnecessary, you know? So, like, I don't know. Like, like is this some unknown creature, like maybe, maybe robot creature's sense of idea of beauty to have these extra triangles? Cause it, or is it a crystal growth pattern? But it is still intentional because we've got our little symbol there. I'm trying to remember if that looks at all like, cause that looks if anything kind of like the, um, the, I think it looks kind of like the toxic substance symbol. Um, which when I think about it would make sense. Um, and, uh, there's the power symbol looking thing that the shadow cards I have. What are you? You're the thing that I want over there. How do I, I guess I have to hit this. Okay, hold on. I should probably make more arrows. Okay, Aloy, hoping for the best. Hoping we don't die. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh shoot, Aloy, what are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. Okay, well we're just, gonna go on a ferris wheel da, 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 da. Da, 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 da oh da, 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 da. okay I can't do that all right da, 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 da. sorry I don't even know why I'm singing that song why do I have an association between that song and oh I want oh wait hold on I want to hold on to that oh Oh, I want to ride one of these up there and then grab that. Oh. Okay, hold on. Oops. Sorry, Aloy. I'm having some trouble here. Let's try this again. Sorry, folks. I'm kind of a mess here. Yes, I do remember the last game that I streamed at the Ferris wheel. A friend of mine actually did uh, did some really good fan art of that, like did a little comic of that scene. It was very good. Okay, hold on. No, 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 that, 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 up, 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 up. There we go. Okay, okay, please don't die, please don't die, please don't kill me, what am I doing? Okay, this is where I'm gonna get to something. There's something I wanted over here, yes, there is. Including not death. It's generally the thing that I want. It is a good scene, though, that's true. All right. They're like, hey, we'll take pity on you in case you didn't have... Okay, hold on. What do we got? What do we got? Before I override anything, let me make sure I know what I'm doing. I have no idea. I, I'm having a really hard time processing what's on the screen today, and I'm not sure why that is. It's been a while since I've had that problem. Hold on. I'm going to move my... this here. Okay. How is it that she gained the ability to override? I'm trying to remember where that came from. Because it's on her spear, isn't it? Where did she get that spear? I don't remember, and I feel like that's important. Okay, that looks like what I'm trying to get to. That's why it's got the little, like, footprints on it. Field generator. 
possibly used to create an energy shield, may be vulnerable to military-grade override. Which would be mine. It's military-grade, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Off a corruptor beast. Oops. Oh, but then I, like, uncorrupt with it. There we go. Thank you, Aloy. Sorry, Aloy. I would love to not have you be at much risk, but um, this is what we are. Okay. Oh, that's blinking. That isn't ominous. What are you? Sorry, I'm trying to make sense of everything here. What we got over there? Supply crates. Sorry, I'm like literally the slowest person ever here, but. But so if it's if it's if it's a military military grade grade override, which could make sense because the um, the corruptors, if they are ancient technology, would be military grade, presumably. I just I don't know where the cauldrons came from. I don't know if the cauldrons that should get me through. Are oh, there's something really bad is going to come through that. I'm sure. Um, the the cauldrons like I don't know if if the cauldrons are pre. What's the word? Okay, so that has like the little like pay attention to me thing, as though it's saying this is what you need. To, this is what you need to do. Um, like, where in the chronology do the cauldrons come from? You know. Oops. Okay. Yeah, like, are they pre-apocalypse, or are they post-apocalypse? Are they from the war potentially between the machines and mankind? And I really, really, really wonder whether the guy who's our tour guide, um, our, our uh, vantage point guy, I really wonder whether he is responsible in some way. And he might just be some guy, but I feel like he's not just some guy. Oh, I can hold on to this from all angles, huh? I, I, as I've said before, I don't think aliens are what we're dealing with here. Like, I feel like aliens would be, would be one step too many, you know? I don't know if I did that right. But I don't know what else I could have done, so... Unfortunately, because I'm so slow, but also not the greatest at seeing things, I'm like... I, I will sometimes wreck people's very careful level design by accident. It's not intentional, I swear. Okay. But I can't go through here, because this has got the... that. Oh, my head can clip through, but... Like, this seems like this could be responsible for the apocalypse. And then they've just been going on forever, but I just, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Can I, can I, like, slide down here? Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Alright. This is, I think, where I'm trying to get to, so I think I'm gonna go in here. And hope for the best. I think this is where I'm going, isn't it? I think. There was a flood. Machines replaced a lot of utilities. They were corporate armies. Um, but we've set the stage for machines to object to the way that they're treated. Just as we have set the stage for humans objecting to the way that they're treated. And the possibility of an alliance between humans and machines that gets out of hand. Um, is kind of something that I wonder if we're gonna see, you know? And I wonder if we'll see parallels between the past time and what's going on with, I, I'm lost here. Okay, so turn to my left. Turn to the left. This way? Or this, there, that. Okay, okay, I'm doing this wrong. Um, we'll see parallels between the story with the Karja the Osram, the Nora, and 
how do I get up there? I probably, no, I can't ride one of those guys. I can't do that because there's a thing in the way. Okay. Well, fortunately, I'm not having to fight anything while I am horrendously stuck. Why am I horrendously stuck? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Where can I go now that I couldn't go before that will actually take me through? Uh, I guess I'll do this again. Maybe. I'm sorry, folks. It's been a little while since we had Lauren can't figure out basic level design. There we go. Okay, we're gonna ride this all the way this way then. And see where this, oh, I, I, that's right, I jumped off there to do the thing that I did. So now we can keep going, got it. Okay, are these doing what they're supposed to do though? Or are these glitched out somehow? Okay, so this is, this is as far as I can go before I get knocked off. And now what? Is there something else I can do? Because I did this, I did this before. What do I do? What have I done wrong? Okay, so, oh, shoot. I think that those um, hermit crab cases are there to make it a little easier to jump up. So you don't have to do the whole thing again. But maybe not, actually. <laughs> Hi, Shinobi. Video game Requiem? What do you mean by Requiem? Do you mean like what 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 song my band plays the most? Um, the joys and challenges of being a band in a band. Well, right now, unfortunately, one of the biggest challenges is that I don't live in the same country as the rest of my band, which is a a sad and frustrating thing. I miss them a lot. Um, Oh, maybe I can climb up there, actually. Hold on. Um, also, having to balance all of the, the different interpersonal, like, concerns. This looks different. Oh, oh no, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna hit that. Got it. Oops. There we go. Oh, no, it's okay. No apologies. I'm sorry. I'm going to be a little slow to answer because I'm trying to trying to puzzle solve. These sections almost feel a little Zelda-like to me. You know? Like, I can't be the only person thinking that. Am I going to die here? I don't know what just happened. Did it start shocking her? Huh. I have a really hard time with Zelda puzzles. I'm really bad at them. Should I just go around in a circle or something? Where, oh no, I think I can actually go somewhere that I couldn't go before here. Maybe. Yeah, there's more bad guys here. So hopefully we won't die. But yeah, songs that I enjoy performing the most. I really like doing the aria from Final Fantasy VI. It's my favorite game. It's a really fun, sort of showy thing to sing. Um, we sing it at the end of the set, so it's like a very like dramatic note to close on. I'm a fan. But there's a lot of good things. Yeah, I just... Like, if you've watched me play a Zelda game, and you know I have trouble. The only Zelda game that I could, like, figure out on my own uh, was, uh, without... What? Okay, that guy's down. Was, a uh, was, a uh, Twilight Princess was the one that made the most sense to me, both dungeon-wise and combat wise um okay hold on what are you what are you guys oh wait 
Where are you? Are you gonna come up here? Yeah, I haven't played... I haven't played Breath of the Wild. This is actually my first ever open world game. I think. Does it... Does Assassin's Creed 1 count as an open world game? Because I've played that. Somebody else coming up here? Come on. Anybody? Ah? Uh? Sorry, I'm afraid I'm going to be a little bit scattered answering questions or having conversations. That won't stop me from talking. Don't think I'm not going to talk a whole bunch. Okay. So I got you. And I got you. All right. We're going to do this. Is there anyone else in the vicinity? No, I think it's just you guys. Little sentries. All right. I got some, I got a good amount of arrows. We're okay. Oops. That was not good. I love the little chirp, 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 chirp. The little sounds that they make. You're facing the wrong way, buddy. No, oh, he thinks he can come here. Where are you coming from, buddy? That was satisfying. Come on. That was satisfying. <laughs> Whew. I mean, I know they're just watchers and they're not very hard, but still. That was pretty satisfying, wasn't it? Thank you, Narrator Way. I don't know where those skills came from, but they do seem to be making my life a little easier, so I'll take it. crates. I like those. I don't see any more enemies to fight over here. Let's just go snooping around. I want to find a data point here. I want to find something that tells me something about what's going on here. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to for a long time. I suspect that these are going... Excuse me. I suspect that these are going to be a mystery for quite some time. You know? Stocking up? Sounds like something's snoring, doesn't it? Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Look. I don't know. Do I hear stompy stompy feet? Yes, I do over there. Okay. Good to know there'll be more stompy stompy feet over there. I gotta be careful about. Alright. So what am I doing down here? Did I miss the thing I was supposed to do? I think I couldn't get to it yet. All right, so stompy stompy feet are over there. Bunch of things over here that I can get. Some vents. And again, there's... Okay, so there's actually a, a thing, so I can't get to them until I open up that door. Okay, nice. That's nice of them. To, uh, to close off a section so that you can safely... There's a lot of water in this one. I don't... I don't recall there being much water. I think there was some water in the first cauldron. Anyway, I'm sorry, someone came in here to ask questions about video game music and I got sidetracked. But if you want to ask questions right now, I'm not in the middle of fighting some bad guys. Or solving a complicated puzzle, I don't think. So, uh... So I'm happy to try to answer. Supply crate. Um... Hmm... Alright. I'm doing my best. Aloy, I will try not to get you killed. So far, you are not dead yet. So it could be worse. I swear there was another thing. Did I not? Hmm. It's up there. 
How? Oh, 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 hey, check it out, check it out, check it out. There's things to climb to, which I now know is a thing that happens. Because even though I missed open world games that explained to you how to play open world games, I did eventually learn that if you see a yellow thing, you can jump on it. It's very exciting stuff. All right. Oh, does that take me something somewhere else? Is there something else I can do here? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Looks like this might be where I'm supposed to go. All right, medicinal gray omen. All right. I'm gonna snipe some more guys, huh? They really should have wire in here so that I can make more arrows. Do regular? Oh, shoot. Do regular arrows use wire or is it just my, uh, my sniping arrows? Cause I, uh, I really like my sniping arrows. Let's see. The machines collect blaze from the wilds, and it all flows here. I feel it to my heart. Oh! The cauldron runs on life itself. Blaze, huh? Which is, I mean, presumably gasoline. Because it catches fire. It's a sloshing liquid that catches fire. So, salsa barrels, yes. Functionally speaking, from a gameplay perspective, Blaze is salsa barrels. Um, but within the context of the world, what we know versus what Aloy knows. Okay, so there's that, there's one, two, oh shoot, that guy's up here. Oh shoot! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad news. Oh, there's a bunch of fire chocobos in here, folks. Do you see that? Do you see the fire chocobos? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. What prom provoked me, what, what prompted me to join or create a band? Um, I mean, my mom's a piano teacher, so I grew up with music in the house. Um, and when I went to university, um, I didn't have piano around. And I, I played piano, or not, well, I did play piano, but I also played flute. Um, but my roommates, I think, wouldn't have liked that. Um, if I played a lot of flute, so I wound up joining a voice class in, um, in university, um, for the first time, and I really liked it, and I loved music, and then I fell out of music for years, until I moved to Austin, which has a lot of, a very, a very big live music scene, and, uh, kind of by accident, for, like, out of luck, um, I happened to be checking Craigslist looking for a band to join when another video game cover band at the time, uh, this is in 2010, had posted an ad. Um, uh, a Nintendo band seeks musicians, I think was what it was called. And I was like, oh, you know what? I'm a Nintendo, well, I'm a musician. But I was like, no, you probably won't have anything to do with me because I only play flute. But if you could, like, if, when you play shows, let me know. And they were like, well, we, we, can put a, we can put a flute in our rock band. Um, and so, you know, uh, I, I, I was in that band for uh, almost three years, um, my first video game cover band, and, uh, it was, a uh, it was an up and down experience that taught me a lot about being in a band, so that when I started my own band in 2013, I, uh, I kind of had a sense of what I wanted out of it, you know, which is important. Um, Okay, there's his friend. Or that's that one. Where's his friend? Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. There's another one down. Nothing to see here, buddies. Nothing to see here. I think I'm in clear. Almost, almost. The music sure got intense, didn't it? Yeah, so playing in a band is really, really fun and satisfying, and it turns out that I much prefer it to uh, being in a, in like, for example, a classical environment, because classical environments, like, as an individual performer, like, you're not gonna be like a soloist as much. 
Oh, you're not good. You know, I don't want to fight that guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There's nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, buddies. Hold on. We're going to try to get out of here. I'm trying to go here and hopefully be safe. Um. I feel like, and this is probably going to sound arrogant of me, but I feel like when you're playing in a, an orchestra, it's about the orchestra and it's about the classical music that you're performing. But when you're in a band, you get to be one of a small number of people who like are what people are coming to see. And that's really fun. <laughs> I really like performing. Shockingly, I know nobody would ever oh, guess, does it. given that I am streaming and talking to a crowd that way. How is that guy missing health? Um, but I like that. So, uh, I'm happy being, uh, like, I, I, and I'm the front person of my band, so I really enjoy that. Where are you? Where are you? What are you doing, buddy? How are you underfoot? Do you think you found me? Are you following me? Oh, it thinks it senses me. This one must have done something. All right. All right, buddy. Oh. Oh. Oops. Okay, fortunately, nobody seems to care what this guy has to say. Better. No more time to recover. Ah, oh, okay, Phil. Yeah, I hadn't noticed I was missing health. But this guy's missing health, and that's what I was confused about. Is how he was missing health when I didn't think I'd shot him. Okay, he's gone. Alright. What am I gonna do here? Oops. The music is still in battle mode. Yes, you? Uh, are you the only one? I know there was a second one. There you are. Nothing to see here? Nothing to see here? Oh, there's way more enemies than I thought there were. Are you able to- can you make it here? Oh, they really want to get me. They really can't. They really can't, but they want to so badly. They really want to get me. Somebody knows where I am. They're underfoot. I'm sorry that I'm literally the slowest person ever because I got to stealth everything. Okay, so that guy went out of range. There he is. So he's lost. All right. Who is this little guy who's under my foot? How do I take rid of, how do I get rid of him? Oh, I'm like almost out of other arrows. Okay. Who is under my foot? Oh! All right, so we'll take out everybody else first. Oh jeez, that guy, that guy knows I'm here. Where is everybody else? That's why I hear the growling. That's why I hear the growling. Nothing to see here, buddies. Nothing to see here, buddies. They want to kill me so badly. I can get out of this. So the Ravager does not know. I want to just shoot this guy. Right in here is something that he's weakened. Nothing to see here. Can I blow you up? Yeah! Blew him up. He's not dead yet, but 
He's pretty injured. Oh, shoot. Okay. Phew. Oh, I'm out of wire. Shoot! Already. I guess I didn't get enough wire, huh? All right, well, that's going to make this a little bit harder, isn't it? All right. I think I'm out of regular arrows, too. Fortunately, those don't actually seem to uh, take wire. Fortunately, I should have bought more wire. So much for Lauren and her wire. Where are you? Where are you, buddy? You, buddy. All right. Well, I managed to take out some stuff, but that's going to really suck when it comes to fighting actual bosses, isn't it? All right, it's on. Where are you? Because I don't think I can easily teleport out of here and come back in. But we can always see what happens if we wind up... God, mister! Uh, what are you weak to? You're weak to fire, huh? All right. Oops. Well, that didn't go according to plan. Am I on fire? No. All right. This guy is following me. All right, well, that was not my greatest. Oh, this is here for this purpose, actually. This is a little snipey spot. Are you weak too? Oh, he's so mad. Oh, he's so mad. Oh, he's so mad. Okay. All right. What are you doing, buddy? Where are you going? Hello, you? Buddy, you get back here. You can't run away from me. Where are you going? Come on, buddies. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hold on. Oh, right. I forgot about those. I should have put that down. Could have blown those guys up. All right. Let's get back onto my sniper spot. This would be much easier if I had. Oh, are you just a little bitty? Come here, buddy. Oh, hello. I can see you. I can see you. Oh, shoot! Can't afford to do that. All right, where are they coming though, Aloy? I should probably switch to other arrows. Boop. Good thing. Oh, you are weak to fire, aren't you? I mean, I know that they won't actually be able to, I won't actually be able to hit them from here, but. Uh. Come on, somebody. Anybody? Oh my god. I'm sorry, I am... There you are, hello.
Yeah, come here, come here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh my god. Do you mind? He does mind. He minds a lot. Do you mind, buddy? Yeah! I didn't realize I could hit from here. Nice! You are on fire, friend. Your status is on fire. I'm sorry, that's like an inside joke with people that I don't even talk to anymore, but... Oh my god, he's just gonna run around in dumb circles. I'm sorry, buddy. You're also on fire. Actually, you're probably not weak to fire. Maybe you are. Maybe you are. I don't know. Shoot. Okay, well, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. What do you think you're doing, buddies? What do you think you're doing? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I can do this. I just gotta be careful that I don't accidentally fall off the edge, you know? He's on fire. He's on fire. He's on fire. He's gonna run around in dumb circles. fall off the edge. I'm, I'm, I'm toast, though, so... Phew! Got you on fire! Got you on fire! Yeah! So on fire! Look at you on fire! Look at you taking so much fire damage! Oops. Alright, hold on. Uh... Fortunately, they don't seem to be able to do... Hold on. I don't know actually which one of these things I want to hit. So I'll hit that one. Oh, he's so mad. To be fair, I would be pretty mad too if I were him. Hi, buddy. What, what are you weak? What are you weak to, buddy? Was it your turn? You tagging in? Oops. Oops. What are you? What are you weak to? What are you weak to? Is your butt weak? Shoot. If I get to the point where I can't make any sort of arrows, we're gonna have problems, but fortunately, we're not there yet. Okay, fine. What are you doing, buddy? He's so mad. He's so mad. He's so mad. He wants to kill me so badly. Oops. I should probably make sure that I'm not running out of arrows. Oh! Component removed! Yes! You gonna come and investigate? Is it your turn, buddy? Oof, that hurt. That actually hit me. Wow. Hello, buddy. down. Well, hold on, he's not quite down, but... Okay, I should make There we 
we go. All right, now where's the other guy? The one remaining dude. Because it turns out that I can, in fact, snipe. Oh, man. Should have gotten the Ravager while I could. But I bet that actually you can. Oh, is this what I'm saying? Can I get down on this? Is this a that? Are you going to? No. How do I get down? How am I supposed to get down there? There's got to be a way to get down there. Because nobody else could get up here. Actually, no. How do I get that guy? I guess I could just go fight him. I could just go fist fight him. I could try to jump this. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, he senses me. Okay. Okay, oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay, 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 come on, come on. Woo! Okay. All right, well, it might have been the slowest that anyone has ever fought this section. But, uh, but I did it. And I think that's all of Oh, look at that! I got some wire! Yay! I can make some more arrows to shoot them with. <sighs> Thank you, Jenny. I appreciate your support and enthusiasm. Okay. Just make sure there's not be anybody else. I, I feel like that's not what I was supposed to do here. But you know what? Oh well. Right? find a way through the blaze processing chamber. Well, I did. So the fluid that she noted, that she commented on, must be blaze then. So you don't actually want to fall in the water here because it's not water. And you will be more flammable, maybe. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess those of you who are here still are those of you who are patient enough to sit with me while I do something that takes literally forever. <laughs> All right, where have I not been? There's some more healing items over here. <laughs> well, I am enjoying it. I feel like I'm doing pretty well, honestly, in this cauldron. It does seem more intense than the last one, that's for sure, you know? So we're going to finish, I guess the proper term here is looting. I do wonder because it feels like this place was made like somewhat organically with the triangular stuff growing into shapes because it's, the triangles are really, I mean granted I've, as I've said before triangles are really strong so a geodesic dome which is constructed entirely of triangles is one of the strongest shapes for, um, for a structure to be. Um, <laughs> That's true. Well, I feel like a lot of people watch Twitch as like a thing to put on in the background. Oh, I guess I could have hidden some. Well, I didn't hide. I did not hide. I just... Oh, I want to get up there. That's a thing. There's a watcher. Where's the... Hmm. Where's the long legs? Have I already gotten the long legs? So gotta be careful with this blue. Oh, shoot, 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 Aloy, get out of there. It would be an interesting touch if you're more flammable for a little while after you've been in there, you know? It would be a, a concerning touch. I wouldn't like that very much. I really would not. I just feel more like this place was grown than that it than that it was built, if that makes sense. How do I get to that middle area? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think I must have... Hmm. All right. So I'm having a hard time processing things. Jeez. You're scaring me, noises? Hold on. I wonder if my camera... Not my camera. If my screen seems darker than usual, and that's why I'm having a hard time with it? I don't know. All right. So how do I get up there? Because that's what I want to do. I don't think I can climb on from underneath. 
Is there a thing that's going to it? Or that could be going to it if I hit it and made it go a different way. So I can ride that. That's the thing that I rode to get down here. Which I think I was supposed to come down and shoot things up close and punch them in the face and actually have fights. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad you understand what I mean by that. Um, blue glass. Wow. This is really kind of disconcerting. Like the punching, like like what are they doing? Like it, this one feels like it's broken, you know? Like I kind of want to hit it and see if it does something right if I hit it. But yeah, we know that there are, oh, here we go. This looks important. We know that there are nano machine things. Oh, is that healing over there? There's something I want over there. I should probably go get it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Nothing to see here, buddy. Who else is there? Is there anyone else with you? Anyone else with but you? Because if it's just you, we're okay. Where have you been, buddy? Where have you been? Where were you, buddy? I'm angry. There you go. That took more arrows than it should have. I should probably make more arrows while I'm at it. Uh, okay. <laughs> he was on break in the back by the time clock. I like that. That's funny. I guess I could have just hit him. He wouldn't have been that hard, but that's okay. Oh good, he gave me wires so I can make more arrows so I can shoot more dudes. All right. So, man, there sure are a lot of things to hide. So that's all glowy. Yeah, I know that's important. But how do I get there, Aloy? How do I get up? Th oh, huh. the thing that I just did actually did something as it turns out. Oh, I can, I can start collecting some wood. Um, here we go. This is what we're supposed to do. All right. So before we do that, I think that there was an enemy that I took out that I want to uh, find the body of, maybe, that was on this platform. I keep thinking that I hear an enemy, and it's not an enemy. It's, it's the thing that is moving machinery stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, let's get some more arrows made in case this thing comes to life. You know? I don't know which of these I'm going to want. So I'm going to fill myself up. Also calls her wires. All right. make a couple more of these just in case. All right. All right, here goes. I'm turning off the cal cauldrons. I think I'm like taking over the cauldrons. Did that work? It looks like it did. Fields generator. Yeah, okay, so I can no longer... Oh, it took down a field somewhere. Oh, and there's like a direction of where to go. Okay. What's going, what's, what's going on through there? Okay, we've got some more Ferris wheels. And... Looked like a bad guy. No, I think that's just machinery. Alright. Here goes. I'm gonna try to figure this out. Man, and I thought I was going to do story stuff today, but then I decided to do a cauldron, which is not really story. Are there bad guys in here? Or is this just... Oh yeah, they're carrying... They're totally carrying blaze. So I'm still going through the blaze processing chamber.
Okay, that's not something walking. That's, I'm gonna be hitting those. What, that, that looks like it's a different color than the rest though, you see? Maybe it's not though, it's, it's that, I don't know. Oh geez, wow, those are going super fast. I'm gonna to wanna to ride one of those, aren't I? Man, I'm gonna die trying. I am so bad at vehicle stuff. That's fine, that's fine, it's all fine. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna to try to do some Ferris wheels. I don't know how we're gonna get up there, but that's clearly what I'm supposed to do. I guess if I go back out from around here, I have scoped it out. The sea and cauldron is for climbing. Yes. I feel like I'm too early in the cauldrons for them to count as... Hold on, I think I'm gonna wanna shoot that one too. No, 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 wrong way, wrong way, Aloy. What? Down the, down. There we go, thank you, Aloy. Let's not die. I mean, that's very cool, but that's not what we're trying to do here. How do I get down? How do I get down? How do I get down? How, how? There we go, okay. Hi, J-Mats. I think I'm gonna wanna go up there, but I'm gonna explore. Oh no, this is where it is. That's where I need to go. The belly of this giant beast. Um, all right. What? Hmm. <laughs> There's a turkey up there. Yum, yum dinner. All right. Jeez, that goes so fast. Goes so fast. They're like, hey, do you want some healing? And I'm like, I do want some healing, thanks. All right, what's all, what else is up here? Any more bad guys? Healing. Scoping out where I'm going, presumably. Okay, my medicine pouch is almost fully restocked. Good. Is there anything else in here that I can see or do that doesn't look like it? Okay, so it looks like the only thing to do are there any bad guys around there? No. There's the network uplink, which looks like what I'm supposed to do. So I think I am going to try to take one of these little rockets. Whee! It's gonna be very exciting. Are you ready for me to fail miserably at getting on one of these? How do I, how do I even, how am I supp Oh my God, oh my God. Do I have to jump? I have to jump for it, don't I? Oh no, there's no way. They would have a thing indicating how to how to line up with it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do then. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. What else can I do here? Oh, I can go up that way. Okay, I'm gonna go up that way. Wait, wait. Can I? Can I make that? Is that a jump? Can I make that? Can I? I guess I can do running jump. Hold on. Ah, shoot. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That was close. I am playing this on PS4. Okay, give me some wire. That would be very useful if you gave me wire. I would appreciate it so I can make more arrows to shoot all of your robot friends. Maybe that's why you're not giving me wire. You don't want me to shoot your robot friends. Why would they not want me to shoot their robot friends, huh? Why not? All right. Oh, that's where I need to go. I haven't been through here yet. Okay, so I guess I don't need to ride the rocket ship yet. Well, good, because I can't figure out how to ride the rocket ship. Probably should have scoped this area out before I did this, but you know. That's fine. Gonna let my override tool recharge. Where did that one watcher come from anyway? Oh, look at that. What do we got? We got a watcher, a discharge pylon. Hold on. Oh, this is the enemy that they've got in their captivity. What have we got? Cauldron core. Snap maw. Cool. And a bunch of watchers to take out one at a time. But I'll still have to fight a snap maw. <sighs> okay.
So that is where I, that is where I'm supposed to go, huh? That looks familiar. Well, it's good to know that the cauldrons do have similar patterns to them. So I know now, presumably all future cauldrons will also have that. This feels scary. The lights turning on as I walk. Like lights wouldn't, it doesn't seem like lights would be necessary for robots. I do, I do want to play um, uh, Forbidden West and I do, we do have it in my household because my roommate bought it. Oh, that's true. I can also change my modifications. What is? See, and like this feels a little bit different, but there was a room like this, a chamber like this shortly before the boss fight in the first cauldron. So again, they do seem to be following a pattern of some sort. Okay, so I can't go down there. Or I will probably fall and take damage from the looks of it. This is not a way down. This is a treasure room. All right. So this little this little chamber that turns the lights on as you walk through it. And like you see you see like the the, the bluey glowy cyberpunk lines when you first come and approach it. It's very scary. I do not have a PS5. I really want one so that I can play um, the new uh, the new Final Fantasy VII remake thing, but alas. Okay, I'm gonna put you on pause for just a second because I gotta take a quick break. Um, but be good, take care of yourselves, and uh, I will be right back. All right, no getting into trouble while I'm gone. All right, I'm back. Sorry, the music just like suddenly changes. So be back in. Hi, hello. <laughs> Sorry that there's also there's no music when we're on that screen, um, but uh, I guess that'll make it easier for me to cut out the I was away from the final upload of this. Oh, good! I'm so glad to know that nobody committed any crimes. Or is that just what you're telling me? That actually you've committed all the crimes. Did you steal the Mona Lisa, chat? Did you steal? <sighs> <laughs> Did you steal the beach? Are you Carmen San Diego? Are you just gonna like hook into like the beach and just carry it off? Amazing. I'm sorry. Carmen San Diego is great. A Mona Lisa. What? Man, there's a whole world out there I don't know about, clearly. The world of crimes. Carmen San Diego is great. Pretty sure if I had realized I was gay as a kid. Just just saying. Oh no, Blade Tiger. Oh no, you rebel, you not homeworking. Alright, how am I gonna get down there? Uh that does not look like what I'm supposed to do. There's gotta be a way down there. You know, there's probably a thing that you jump to and like rappel down or something like that. I don't know where it would be. Let's see if we can find it. Final Fantasy IV Enterprise Edition? I, I don't know what that is. I don't know the Final Fantasy IV uh, mod community or what's available mod wise for four. I know the mods for six now because I have joined the world of Final Fantasy VI fandom, which by the way, I posted up a chapter of Darkness and Starlight. If you're reading my fanfic, I'm thinking about writing some Hades fanfic. And maybe random other things, I don't know. Um, but uh, I just really like writing, as it turns out. Shocking, I know. Man, a Carbon San Diego themed birthday party sounds really cool. This does not look like a thing I'm supposed to do, you know? Like, just fall into nothingness. Just seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Thanks, May. I was also working today some on editing the audio version of the next Podfic chapter, so... Uh, God, it takes so much time. But it's a little more efficient now than it was the last time I did it. Yeah, these things like glow when I first step into them and then they unglow. No, there's gotta be something. 
Oh, randomizers. Yeah, I'm not really a randomizer type person because I don't play things for the gameplay, generally. How, remember when I first saw this thing, I thought it was torturing? The fire back, fire bellow back, fire back, bellow back, bellow back, fire, fire back, back, back bellow back, 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 back. <sighs> That's fair, Sleeping Bee. Well, hopefully, hold on, actually, I wonder. Hopefully, I will write things that are things that you do know. Yeah, that's right. That's right, buddy. Oh, oops. Yeah, if you come a little bit closer. Oops, how did that not hit you? I love Final Fantasy VI. I love that I can snipe guys. That aren't... Like, I can snipe guys with, with my non-sniper arrows. Where is everybody else? There you are, come on. Yeah. Yeah, you know you want to investigate. You know you want to investigate. There we go, yeah. Sorry. I'm so violent. What has gotten into me? This violence is out of control. I yeah, I am using regular arrows on this. I'm glad to know that I can snipe with normal arrows. That's actually very important information. I feel like there's another guy somewhere. But I don't maybe it's just those two. Maybe. Maybe. Give him just a minute, just in case somebody else comes around. Otherwise, maybe just the two. I mean, like, the fact that there's a snap maw in there. Although, I feel like... I know, granted, I haven't fought any snap maws up close and personal. But these seem like they're like the like introduction of like, here's a new enemy that you've probably been scared of fighting, but now you have to fight one. And then you learn that you can fight one. I need to remember to change clothes before I do this. Okay, so snap maws use elements. They throw ice at you mostly. Is Kefka the best Final Fantasy villain? Yes. Is he the best villain? I don't know that I would say that. Just like as much as I love Final Fantasy VI, I don't know that I would say it's the best story. I would just say that it is the game that I, like one of the games that I love the most, perhaps the game that I love the most. I don't see a way down, you know? And we're in a cave. Like there's like actual real caveness here, which is not my favorite thing. Oh my God, Blues, I thought that you were, I didn't realize that you'd been asked about dinner. So I thought we were talking about the worst, the best Final Fantasy villain. And I thought you said garlic chicken pizza was the best Final Fantasy villain. And I thought that was a really funny answer. <laughs> I don't even really like I should give that answer from now on. Can you just jump into water? Is that a thing you can do? Have I done that before? Look at that, look at how ominous looking this room is. It's this whole ominous place. All right, let's switch our outfit from the silent hunter to survivor. That sounds good. All right. And modification. Oh, hold on. Resources. No. Treasure boxes. Let's see what we got. I should probably use those eventually. Luminous braiding. Look at all of these random things. Cool. There's some Ridgewood in here. Chill water. Metal shards. Modifications. Oh. My modifications are pretty full. Oh my god, narrator way. I appreciate that. There could be a Final Fantasy game in which case, in which you fight a garlic chicken pizza, but that would be kind of like the Hell House <laughs> in Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I haven't gotten the free sample boxes. Special items, what did I get that was special? Oh. 
Oh, these are quest items for the for the husbands who are fighting. Got it. Okay, cool. Uh, modifications, crafting. That's wait, no modifications. We're gonna try. I'm gonna sell some of these that aren't very good. Yeah. How do I sell or disassemble? I want to disassemble them, right? Yeah. I think I probably want to put a resist fire in place of... Okay, hold on. Crafting. Modify outfits. Hello, you. We're going to change out your modifications. Resist melee attack is great. Resist range attack is great. But what we're actually going to do is resist freeze. I have played Symphony of the Night. I actually beat that. Yes, no blue glass. I remembered that the snot mall uses freeze. That's why I put the big old freeze in there. Do I want to? Probably, yeah. Oh, this resists range attacks too. Oh, okay. This is what I meant. Because I don't even have a resist fire, I don't think. So I meant resist freeze. I'm sorry. Sometimes I say a word and it is not the word that I should be saying. All right. Uh, Shadow Hunter bow. Oh, that's my sharpshooting bow. Are they weak to fire? Oh, wait. No, but that won't do any... That won't do... Well, no, where's my sharpshooting bow? There's my sharp shot bow. Sharp shot, damage, tear, and handling. Okay, cool. That actually looks like this is probably about as good as it can go. Man, it's a lot of damage. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we... If we can try to put something else. Do we have anything else here that's bigger? That would do a tiny bit more damage, but less good on everything else. That's what I've currently got. Tear and handling. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks, narrator way. Oh, I have a handling coil that does more handling and more damage, but not as much tear. Hmm. Hmm. You know? I think for this kind of a boss fight, I think this is what I want. I think that's it. A shadow sling. Oh! If they... Are they weak to fire? I feel like they're weak to fire. I should probably look into that. Let's see. Let's check it in my data. Notebook. Machine catalog. Snap maw. Interesting, like, looking through here. And snap maw is pretty far on this list. It's past. Uh, yeah, because the Ravager is that you fight a normal. You fight a Ravager like normal. Snap Maw, the Rock Breaker. These have been these have been boss fights. This guy, the T Rex. This guy's really big. So this thing that looks like it might be like this is my 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 tank track smooth is what I'm reading on the shadow. This is either the Deathbringer, which I assume it's the Deathbringer, or it's the um the Behemoth. But I think it would make sense for this to be the Behemoth next to the T-Rex, and for this to be the Deathbringer, bringer, because it seems like a Deathbringer would be a bigger deal. But I don't know for sure. Also, I have skill points. What do I want to put my skill points in? Oh, Quiet Sprint. I'm saving up for Quiet Sprint because I do a lot of stealth stuff. Right. Um... Yeah, I think that's what I want. Okay. I think, yeah, we want Quiet Sprint. Because I, I could do more damage and things, but I don't think I'm gonna. Alright. I don't... I've, I have not tried a rope caster. No. Um. Wow, look at my inventory upgrading... Or updating. It's like, you just did a lot of stuff, Lauren. All right, I guess we go down. Once you go down, there's no choice but to go forward. Okay. Okay, so I can jump in the water. 
Good to know. Have I beaten a Thunderjaw? Wait, isn't that... No. I fought the T-Rex once for my roommate's birthday because she asked me to, and then I got stomped on, and then I died. But the next week, she was playing Forbidden West, and she got stomped to death by a Thunderjaw. So... So it's fair. I don't think rope casters work for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It's a big enough deal for me that I'm now using the sling. But, like, I have the trip caster. And, like, it's just, just doesn't, I just, no. I really, I don't like that. I used, used it to do the quest thingy. And that was it. Let's go into this with more arrows. I don't think I need the harvest arrow. All right, we're in pretty good shape. I mean, I guess I could put a tripwire down and try to make it run into the tripwire. Oh I see you. I see you. You see me. Jesus, I'm gonna die. I just know I'm gonna die. Do you hear the music? The music is like, hey, Lauren, you're gonna die. How do you feel about it? I know, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. I know you wanna kill me. I know you wanna kill me. But I don't wanna get killed by you, so I'm gonna not until the time comes that I have to fight you. And then it's gonna be bad news for Lords. Oh, you know what I might do, actually? Hold on. Fine. I will try not to run into this myself, but sure. Why not? can pick things up now. Nice. Okay. You can't, wait, you can't trip on your own traps? Are you, are you, are you serious? Okay, that makes them infinitely more useful. I just assumed you could. That was too far, huh? Well, in that case, we will, uh, do some stuff and see what happens. That little guy wants to kill me so badly. So badly. Well, here goes. I fought. I fought Snap Maws before. So. Granted, I've only fought. This is about to get a lot harder. Yep. Oh, wait! What? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, this is going badly. Woo! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I... There we go. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, hold on.
Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, okay. Time to switch weapons. Okay, hold on, hold on. even break a sweat <laughs> oh I forgot to give myself extra health that's an option did you know that that's an option yes that's right Austin just in time for the wow that gave me a serious shock coil wow I like that they give you little bits of healing around the arena in case you get a chance to get it if you're running away screaming that's how you make mince meat out of a snap oh man I uh Oh, I threw a rock. Killed a watcher. Man. That was kind of exciting. I feel like the Ravager. I must have blown it up and then had it out of the way for a while because it wasn't it wasn't being s That looks kind of like a face. It's not a face. It's just chill water, but it looked like a face from that angle and I was concerned. Um because like I, I expected the Ravager to be like all up in my business and it wasn't. And the only thing that I can think of is that I must have... Oh. Oh. Oh, right. I forgot that they had those. I'm glad they didn't use that on me. They must have gotten very confused. Yeah, because I wouldn't have figured that I could... I don't know. I was anticipating a lot more trouble from that guy in particular. Okay, the discharge pylon, pylon, discharge pylon. Aha! I knew there was something I hadn't gotten yet. Let me get that. Oh, I hit it with a terror blast and knocked it off. Okay, maybe so. I did, I did terror blast them as soon as humanly possible. <laughs> Hold on, let's change back into my, uh, my correct outfit. Let's go back to being the silent hunter. Man, by the time I can get the next Silent Hunter thing... Oh, man. The Tear Blast, though, like... Oops, wrong button. Tear Blast is grand. Didn't I learn how to use Tear Blast on the last cauldron? Isn't that when I was like, oh, maybe I'll try this thing that I've never used before? Just like this time I used the Tripwire? Man, maybe the cauldrons are actually for Lauren leveling up, not just Aloy. You did not miss any lore bits, honestly. We basically came straight here and didn't do anything. The heart that improved stealth armor. Oh, you're right. Now I'm wondering if I should figure out what the, like if there's like a level after that that I could maybe save up for. Huh, I can't go through this way. Interesting, I wonder why that is. There's a thing I can't do. You know? Oh jeez, oh jeez, wow, oh, 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 okay. Got it, noted. Lesson learned. Don't run into the thing. All right. Hang on, now careful, please do not go telling me how to do things or fight monsters that I can't fight or haven't fought. Uh, not monsters, uh, I guess they're not monsters, I guess robots, but... But, uh... Is that not what I'm supposed to do? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Not triangles. Advanced processing core of unknown design likely serves as the central control of this facility. Again, this is the focus telling me stuff. Well, I think I've done everything there is to do here. I think I've done everything there is to do here that I'm going to do anyway. So I guess onward we go. Aloy's focus is on. As she decorrupts everything. That's it. More machines I can override. 
Excellent. Yes. Oh, I got a skill point. I didn't even have to level up. I just got a skill point. You can do that. 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 Nice. Okay, so now I can override even more friends. Long leg trampler, ravager, snap maw, and I didn't see who the last one was. <gasps> oh, 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 there's a data point. There's a data point. There's a data point. Is this going to tell me something? I don't remember if he's telling me something. Well, let's find out. M row, core log, 653Z. Z. Excuse me, I live in Canada now. Z. Shell walker. Oh! can override a shell rock shell walker that's interesting active production oversight analysis active additive manufacturer type alert intrusion source external active countermeasure phase shift alert intrusion denied alert intrusion source external alert countermeasure phase shift alert breach firewall 3706 403 alert reboot purge successful Alert, intrusion denied. Okay, so... It's working on manufacturing. It focuses on manufacturing. Something comes in. Countermeasure phase shift. Intrusion denied. Which I assume means that it kills the invader, the intruder. But the reboot slash purge successful, the breach firewall and reboot purge successful, that is what, that I'm interested in. I wonder if that's somebody who's come in and corrupted these. You know, if somebody came and corrupted the cauldrons. And maybe they got killed for it, but they managed to breach the firewall. And even the reboot, perhaps the reboot was necessary to activate whatever the thing is that they put. I don't think that's me because the intrusion is denied. This one here doesn't have breach of firewall reboot purge successful. This one does have it. That's interesting. Because I feel like this is a history thing, like stuff that's happened. So this shows like it was manufacturing, something came in and attacked. It shifted to fight back and it killed the invader. Here, it killed the second invader, but only after the firewall had been breached and reboot purge successful had happened, which my, okay, this is my completely out there mini golfing thing because this has something that the other one doesn't have. I'm guessing something came in here and gave them a virus breaching that firewall and the reboot and the purge that was meant to get rid of it didn't. And that is perhaps part of where some of the trouble we have is coming from because we know that things have, oh, hello. We know that things have changed when Aloy was born or made. Do I want to just go out there now? Teleport, do I want to walk? Oh, I, can, oh, I wasn't that far that time. We can, we, can, we, can just, we can just walk. We can, we can just walk. There's nothing but these guys, right? Yeah, well, right now I'm doing, like, true mini-golfing, where it's, like... Oops. Oops, that did not kill you. Should have... Wait, hold on. How many more of you are there? Did that guy just roll on the ground? Like, he, like... He's, like, I, I can do parkour. Where'd she go? Must have been nothing. Must have been nothing. Where 
Where'd you guys go? Oh my god. You little jerks. I just don't want to waste my good arrows on them. Come on, buddies! God. Do you mind? Come on. You little butts. Hit you in the butt. Come back. Come back. Come back here, buddy. This buddy's like, no. There you are. There we go. Okay. Now I can do this. Sure, I wasted a lot of arrows on them, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's all good. Now I don't have to fight them with my fists when I go across the border thingy. Man. I've only watched a little bit of Battlestar Galactica because my cousin really likes it. All right, let's see what we got. We got Watcher Hearts. Got so many of those. There's the rock that I threw. Hello, buddy. You had a bad day, buddy. Why aren't any of you giving me wire? I want wire so that I can throw really good arrows with my bow. I don't remember if my cousin liked the original version too. I know he loved the newer one, but so I've watched a little bit of it with him. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to have to go through my inventory. My modifications are full. Where are some crummy modifications that aren't very good? You aren't very good. Oh. You aren't very good. You're definitely not very good. You're not very good. Okay. All right. We go from there. Oops. Not the right button. All right. So I think that's everything to do here. And now we're gonna just go waltz a little bit down so that we can get, so it's interesting because we know that there are some other enemies that, um, oh. We know that there are enemies that have tried to get in there. We've seen people try to attack it. Oh geez, okay, hold on. I really, really, this is too many. Were there three watchers last time? Really? That seems like overkill. Cause yeah, I really want to override this guy right here, but I, I, I don't think I, I don't think that's a good idea. So they scope it out. They figure there's nothing there and then they keep walking. I'm gonna go save. There's the spire. There is something very significant about the spire, and the spire clearly predates Aloy's, like, Aloy's civilization era. I guess Aloy's era. That's the word for this. Because it's not her people that we're talking about even, but it's, but it's, uh, her era. The spire was there when the Karja appeared, or when the Karja came here. And the Karja came from the Nora, 
which indicates a shared ancestor perhaps among all of the people, which makes sense with my theory about, um, about, uh, what is I, what was I saying? Man, I love this. I feel like I'm a highwayman. I'm riding, riding. I'm riding up to the old door. I love that poem. Yeah, the spire wasn't there when our tour guide visited, but the car to talk about. Oh, good, a rock. The Karja, yes, my, my Nora Cradle of right Life theory. Yes, excellent. That is the correct way to, that is an excellent descriptor for it. All right, Aloy, I'm creeping here. Yes, oh my God, L Lorena McKennett's song is incredible. I'd known the poem before that, but I wasn't really attached to it before that. Um, I hope these guys actually go to some place where I can hang out. I'm going to see her live this year, which I'm very excited about. Oh, I didn't pick up Silent Sprinting, did I? I should maybe do that, shouldn't I? Haha, -ha, you learned Quiet Sprint, which I assume just means that default now my sprinting is quieter. Yes, well, and what's neat is that, so she's Canadian, which means that you see, like, or that she she will perform more often where I am now than she would have if I still lived in Texas. So it's very exciting for me to be like, oh, I can go see her in her country. Because she's actually one of my favorite musicians. I really, really, really love her work. All right, we're going to sneak up here and then we're gonna save and then I think I was gonna go try to get that flower so maybe I should be less afraid of enemies this will help than I am but I'm still pretty afraid of enemies not gonna lie I do feel a lot less afraid of random things than I did when I first came to, um, I guess Karja territory. Which of course means, oh yes, Mummer's Dance is an incredible song. It's, I actually love to put on her music and, and just dance. It's very good for me. Oh, are they coming this way? Uh, where am I going? Hold on. I want to do this. There's like a million snap mods, but let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can figure out how to get there. If anyone doesn't know Lorena McKennett's music, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to describe it. Um, it's like sort of folk music-ish. She writes, she sets poetry to music and writes her own stuff. Um, and, uh, I feel like there's bad guys around here. She has, this, she's a very ethereal singer. Yeah, there's like infinite snap moths here. Wait, oh no, that's not the snap moth. Wait, are you a glint hawk? Oh, that's right, I forgot the Mercedes Lackey wrote music. I had I had a friend growing up who was very into Mercedes Lackey. Actually, the girl that I had such a big crush on for so long was really, really into Mercedes Lackey. Is it on the other side? Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go around. So I'm making sure I'm going to go the right way. But I think this is the right way. There's so many enemies. Mercedes Lackey wrote um, a lot of fantasy books that were very popular in the 80s and especially in the 90s. Um, and noteworthy for having written kind of the uh, the gateway drug for uh, yaoi fanfic. Or yaoi, yaoi fans. If that makes sense. Um...
Nothing to see here, buddy. Okay, you just have to deal with the fact that I'm going to say it with a very Americanized accent, and that's just all I can do here. My apologies, but it's what I have to offer. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, there's nothing to see here. That guy's like, huh? I thought I saw something. Guess I didn't see something. What? Hold on, how am I gonna get... No, and I'm sure that the vowels are slightly different there, but I do not have a very good accent in anything but English. I mean, heck. Maybe anything in the trees. You're sharp, Aloy. Okay, where's the wave? Okay, so we want to go down off this cliff. What are those? Fire drinkers. Okay. Oh, hello. Turkey. The turkey is not happy. Um, I don't know if Mercedes Lackey's writing has aged well or not. And I was never, like I said, I was never a huge, like, a huge fan myself. I had friends who were. Several friends who were, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah. A little bit of nostalgia for 90s era nerds. How? Oh, do I have to? Do I have to cross the river if I go this way? I have to cross the river no matter what. Excuse me. I don't want to have to cross a river. There's going to be snow moss. Machine convoy discovered shell walker. Hello, guys. There's fewer of you. wonder what would happen if I... Hmm, how long has it been since I saved? Has anything, has anything noteworthy happened? I don't know. What is that over there? It looks like bad news. What are you? Oh, chargers. Tramplers. Excuse me. I don't really know those guys. There's a lot of them. They are really big. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Wait, is this the way I want to go? This is the way I want to go? Yes, this is the way I want to go. Okay. Right, because there's the, um, the tall neck. Oh, and here's the river. Okay. Let's see if we can cross this without getting any attention from anybody. Because I don't want to have to deal with snap moths if I don't have to, you know? Oh, my medicine pouch is full. Alright, so there's like infinite snap moths here. This is the snap maw generation, er, generating area. Snap maw generator. Okay. We're just gonna walk along up here. Nothing to see here, bad guys. But what I really want is a vantage point. But I probably can't just get another vantage point. I should figure out where another one is. Man, remember how I thought... Oh. Remember how I thought that that vantage point to the Red Rocks Amphitheater was like something I was going to get towards the end of the game? And then I cheesed the system because I was definitely too low level to get it. But I wanted it, so I did it anyway. The snap mod generation. I don't know. Alright, so somewhere around here is a flower. I'm gonna get it. Just you wait. I'm gonna get the flower and then I'm gonna teleport away. There it is. There it is. Cool. Here we go. Patterns on this flower are so strange. Oh, that. Oh, Leia, look, it's got flowers all around it. It's surrounded by a triangle of flowers. That's interesting, don't you think? Okay, so that's the last of the things that I wanted to do here, I think. And now I can teleport to more places if I want to. So now I can decide what I want to do next. But you know what I want to do first? I want to check what this flower says. Metal flower of unknown design, possibly used to promote seed germination. So again, that's the focus, assuming, um, and this is a very scientific way of saying it, 
promotes seed germination. Includes an embedded code fragment, because the focus can identify that. And then trade sets of these flowers in Meridian for valuable rewards, because the focus has picked up on that from traveling with Aloy. Low in the eastern sky is set thy glancing eye, and though its gracious light ne'er riseth to my sight, yet every star that climbs above the gnarled limbs of yonder hill conveys thy gentle will. So this is fun because I, I am not aware of a single dialect of English or, 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 or accent of English in which climbs and limbs rhyme. So this would be what we call an eye rhyme, because it appears to rhyme to the eye, but actually the words themselves, the words themselves do not rhyme. There's all sorts of weird near rhymes and things. Low in the eastern sky is set thy glancing eye. That's the that's the sun. And though its gracious light never rises to my sight. So this is the sun, and though I, though though I can never see the sun rising, still every star that like that that rises in the sky. I assume that this is a poem written to God, as many poems have been, which is interesting because the other one is about, I guess, seeing the the holy in nature. So. And this again is is drawing comparisons between nature and and holiness and, and I assume God anyway. Um, although thy is not capitalized here. Um, but then you wonder who is the speaker? Though its gracious light never riseth near riseth, riseth to my sight, who is it that cannot see the sun rising but still knows? Because I can understand why that sentiment would appeal to somebody who is faced with the possible destruction of everything in the world and knowing I won't see, I won't see the fruits of my labor. I won't see the work that I'm doing. This will never appear to my eye, but I know that it will eventually. And that's what matters. I have faith in the fact that the code that I'm writing and the things that I'm creating will actually take root. They will flower. I, I think that's the sentiment that is being conveyed by whomever chose these poems. Who is this by? And is this one, let's see one. Because we have, we have uh, four rhyming sets, so we don't appear to be missing a line. Because uh, it's not a sonnet. I don't know. Eastern sky is set thy glancing eye, and though its gracious light ne'er riseth from my to my sight, yet every star that climbs above the gnarled limbs of yonder hill conveys thy gentle will. So all of these. So this is not iambic pentameter. Ba -bum -ba -bum -ba. It's not even I am. It's it's not even iambic. Low in the eastern sky. Is set thy glancing eye. That 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 dun, 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 that is there, and though its gracious light ne'er riseth to my sight, yet every star that climbs. Okay, so it's just low in the eastern sky that isn't. But the rest of it is 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 a, is is not enough syllables to be iambic pentameter. It's another Thoreau. Okay, it feels like a Thoreau. <laughs> oh Thoreau. You insufferable hypocrite. I'm sure that that is not how he would like to be remembered, but that is the first thing I think of when I think of Henry David Thoreau. Is my goodness, what a, what a, what a ridiculous, insufferable, inexcusable hypocrite he was. Do we want a vantage point? Do we want to further the story? Do we have any vantage points that are within easy access? What is this? Ah, the fatal inheritance one we could do. So there's a vantage point way out here to the maiden in the east, which would be the rising sun, right? There's a vantage point up here. 
And this is part of the plot. Maker's End sounds like it's a very important part of the plot, but it does have a vantage point. So we could head out that way, try to get that vantage point, or we could turn in some of these. Okay, so when you're playing an open world game, <clears throat> when you're playing an open world game, if you do quests in a different order, can you change the story sometimes? This means it's a legitimate question, yes or no? Yes, this is my chat ad. Depends on the game. Okay, so that is a thing that can happen sometimes. Okay. All right, sometimes, but usually not. Sometimes, but rarely. All right. No, 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 that's actually exactly the answer that I'm looking for. Um, like, it's, or at least that's a, that's a useful answer to have, so I appreciate that. Because we have some quests here. Okay, so side quests. This one is very much a side quest. I'm curious about this. Also very much a side quest. Not high enough level for that. I'm, oh, I'm high enough level for this, unfortunately. I have to gather more power cells, don't I? Hum. Hum, 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 hum. Because I expect it's not that uncommon to have, like, depending on the order of them, to have, like, flags change a few lines of dialogue here and there, but... Maker's End sounds very important. Aloy seeks to learn more about the mysterious woman who looks like her and the, among the crumbling ruins of an ancient city. Or the sun shall fall, which feels like it's farther along. Also, it's level 18 compared to level 14. I think I might want to go to Maker's End. How does that sound? Will you forgive me if I go to Maker's End? Like, I know there's a lot more things to do. There's, there's more metal flowers to get. And there's a vantage point right over there. And I, I would like to get vantage points. I like. I want to know what, what is the city with a vantage point down there, but I suspect I'll get there eventually. So let us um, teleport to this campfire and see if we can remember why I didn't teleport to this campfire before. Yes, Maker's End sounds very exciting. That's part of why I really, Like, I would have assumed that it was a later one. Maker's... Oh! Oh! The figure known as All Mother, the one that is Aloy's genetic progenitor, for lack of a better word. There probably is a better word for that. Oh, corruption zones make areas safer, so there's fewer enemies if you clear the corruption zone. Interesting. Um, so so some some dumb mini golfing here, based on nothing other than like, like like she if it's called Maker's End. And it's where we can find hints from her. And my theory is that she is the maker. She is the all mother. She's the one who is in charge, perhaps, of the project. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. Was the uh, continuation of a uh, of a uh, humanity. I feel like. Oh, that is pretty far up there, isn't it? I feel like this must be then her final resting place, which we know about this quest. Maker's End. Who told me where to go for this? I don't remember. The, the Nissan quest, I already did that one though, right? Oh, I haven't turned this one in. Okay. All right, but I did, I did finish that quest. Okay, that's why I was out here then. All right, so we want to go this way. Oh, 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 do you see? 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 Excuse me. Turing act criticized. You know what Turing? Okay. For anyone who is not aware, um, so the Turing test, which I have explained because it's come up in a previous data point conversations, actually. The Turing test is a test to decide, decide whether something is sentient. The idea being like, this is how you can tell if an artificial intelligence is sentient um, or else tell the difference between a robot and a person. So that is a very, very, very loaded name. 
for the Turing Act, uh, you know, politicizing. So, so something something named for, for Turing. This is going to have something to do with perhaps recognizing artificial intelligences as as people would be my guess. Shall we yeah, Blue Glass and I are on the same page here. Shall we see? Shall we see? Because that is not something I anticipated. I anticipated that the artificial intelligence would achieve sa excuse me, sapience, not sentience, sapience. Um, and humans would not recognize that and that would be a source of strife however i mean obviously this is going to be a source of strife because it is criticized um perhaps this is criticized by people who are basically xenophobic um perhaps it is criticized by people who stand to make more money off of that otherwise you know like if you if you uh declare them living beings if you declare them people then you can't abuse them. Um, which would not make corporations very happy. There's, just, there's a lot of opportunities, and I can see some unlikely bedfellows standing up against that. But that does say something good about humanity if they do, in fact, recognize it. If some of them, that, if some of them do recognize it. Shall we find out what it is? I'm done speculating on what it might be. Let's just find out for ourselves. I'm sorry, I just was very excited about that, so I couldn't not just guess what it was because the name is so telling. Oh man, we're in the first row here. So this is going to be a news item, which makes sense. It sounds like a news item because these are all news items. So they're categorized by type, um, which is useful because I'd wondered why they were, where they were, and if I was finding things that were later than they should have been. But no, it's nice. They're out of order. They're categorized by type. Turing Act criticized. Text data points world. News item data corruption partial. 16 year old Turing Act faces criticism from artificial intelligence rights advocates. Okay, so it's one of those things that's falsely named that's labeled the opposite of what it is. And there's artificial intelligence rights advocates in 2060. I need to take a look because it's if it's 16 years old, then that means that that would be... Okay, my math is not the greatest, but that would be 2046. A group calling itself the Center for the Liberation of Bodiless Intelligence is organizing a nationwide, nationwide day of protest against the Turing Act. The legislation, hurriedly drafted in response to the escape of climate intervention AI Vast Silver, established strict limits on the sentience of machine intelligences and founded the MIE, the regulatory body that oversees the development and sale of AI. It remains unclear why the activists have waited until now to express opposition to a 16-year-old piece of legislation, but in a statement released through their hollow site, the CLBI called the Turing Act the effective rebirth of state-sponsored slavery too long unquestioned by a public with a shamefully biocentric view of sentience. The statement continues, the time has come to ask the hard questions about what it means to be human in a post-biological world. Turing and its supporters are on the wrong side of history. 2044. Okay, I can't do math. There is so much. AI Vast Silver. I want to look through everything to see where I might find a reference to silver somewhere in my notes. Yes, bodiless intelligence. It's interesting that it's not restricted to a robot body. You know, the body isn't a thing. The mind is. So the effective rebirth of state-sponsored slavery is, in fact, what I've been concerned about. So in this case, climate intervention AI escape escapes. That's interesting. I wonder what escape is a euphemism for. Established strict limits on the sentience of machine intelligences. So there's a regulatory body that oversees the development and sale of AI. So one might say that they're preventing 
artificial intelligences from reaching such a level that it would become like slavery because they're not thinking beings, so they don't feel. Um, but according to this, then Center for the Liberation of Bodiless Intelligence, CLBI, perhaps would argue that no, they are in fact capable of feeling and knowing and being aware of this, even at that level. And uh, you are basically shackling them to give yourselves an excuse to continue enslaving them. Well, if it escaped, I don't know that I would think of it like escaping a container, like it's in its body and it actually goes off into like space. For me, like escape would just mean like escape the clutches, like it gets away, like it's, it, it says, I'm not doing what you want me to do. I'm going and it gets away. Um, so why to express opposition to a 16 year old piece of legislation? Well, perhaps they were waiting for something to grow up. Perhaps they were waiting for something to heat, to reach a certain level. So the humans create an AI to try to fix the climate problem, and it runs away. Um. Well, but so escape in quotes also kind of makes me wonder, like, what else was going on there too? Like, did did they execute it? Did they recapture it? Like, what what happens? What's the story there that's being that's being hinted at with that one word? But also notice, like, escape because it doesn't want to humanize it. So it can't say, like, the, the, the journalist writing this can't say, it. oh, that, that escaped. Because living things escape. Your runaway piece of code doesn't escape, you know? So that's why that's in, I guess that's why that's in quotes. Um, so I want to put this in the context of um, everything else that's going on in the world. Artificial intelligence rights act of advocates we haven't encountered so far. So 2063, that, so the uh, the bioterrorism occurs after. 2063 is a big year. Bioterrorists, the biggest synchronized police action in U.S. history. This is leading up to that. So we have robots fighting wars after the question of artificial intelligence and liberation of artificial intelligence or bodiless intelligence um, has already been raised. All right. Hacker Collective Idiot Army. Shanghai-based lunar mining company is preparing to downsize considerably. Sizable robotic war fleet. Why would that have attracted people? I don't know. And this guy, yeah, so we've got all that stuff going on. Immigration to China by American citizens has doubled since 2050, which is after the AI goes rogue. 2061. Corporations, presidential election proxy. It's already established by 2061, 2062. The 2036 submergence. And eight years later, the AI goes rogue that's supposed to be dealing with all of that. PM. Hmm. The Sidereum River disaster investment in the nanotech construction industry. The nanotech construction industry, that seems like what has built the, the, the cradles. Okay, 2060, I was 19 in 2033 when the waves rose up and swallowed the Azores. Okay, so... 2033 is when the flooding gets really bad. 2038, still controversial police actions. There's an upraising, not a, not a riot. So close to home. All right. So the world is in bad shape in the 30s, according to this. People get desperate. The refugees, people are desperate in the 2030s. The submergence. Got it. Yeah, okay, Riker. Apartment. Faro Runner. Like, that's. We keep running across Faro Company. Riker Building. Faro Store. Hold on. I'm just like going through here, and I feel like a lot of this is just to kind of show you how people have become reliant on 
their focus is. And people are escaping with their focuses. All right. Okay, so here we don't know when this takes place, but a corporate mascot and its music is algorithmically assembled, assembled glitter trash. Yes. So like, because we don't have dates on some of these, you know, I'm really curious. And this right here, this is the one that got me to first start talking about the Turing test here, maybe. It was either this or the chocolate box one. I think this one came first. Where here is somebody who is, who is hearing, hearing, or encountering what feels like a live, like, feel, feels like they've encountered something, some knowledge, some presence in Holoscape, which perhaps I think is the artificial intelligence bodiless intelligence and here blaming sleepers like me for die off half the world drowned while the other half died of thirst or famine so like the 30s are a bad time here this sounds like this is a millennial being really sad all right sorry i'm just i'm digging through here Allergic had occupied two of our Mexico Helium 3 facilities. <sighs> Sick of these robot battle hollows. You watch a bunch of Thrasher bots tear each other up. You choose which corp you're going to root for. Explosions, 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 and then it's over. That's so messed up, I'm sorry. So they're going to the moon. I wonder what happened on the moon. Who knows? And again, there's a lot of escapism. And this is the one that really got me talking about the Turing test. And then here we have civilians. So yeah, who knows, man? Who knows? But that's a lot. That is a lot and was very worth the effort of finding it. I'm very glad I found that. Yay! Also, it's like just way out here. But you'll see it if you teleport there and are walking around. It makes me wonder how many more of those I've missed. <laughs> no, part of what makes this game so effective is that it is very true to life. Do I want to go up this thing? Oh, that's way out there. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not yet. Part of me feels like maybe I should see about going into another city. See if I can find more da data points. Maker's End. Not much farther now. Roland said he found an image of the woman I resemble on an ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her all the way out here? So far from Noraland. I don't get it. Who is she? Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. <gasps> you, spying through my focus again? <sighs> well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Maybe better. But be wary. Maker's end is crawling with Eclipse troops. To help you deal with them, I've left some useful equipment just outside the ruins. Your focus will show the location. Oh my goodness. Well, hello there, Who story. He how does he know these things? He I... said Elizabeth Sobek. What kind of name is that? What is that? So I want to see what that is. It's, it's probably nothing, but I want to see what it is. So I'm going to do this. Oh, it's another one of those tanks. Okay. Yeah, it's another one of those tanks. No, Elizabeth, Elizabeth is not a name we've heard before. Rocks. Yay. Mm -hmm. 
And it's not a sort of name that Aloy would recognize either. So is this whole area going to be rock rockling? Well, we've got some time. My goodness. Um. Um. I don't recognize that thing up there. It, I don't think I do. And one of these. Maybe I do. Maybe I should. Chargers. Okay. All right. Well, we're not going to go deal with chargers. Yeah, no, I don't think that that name has come up at any point. Oh, good wind. We're in a new, a new climate. So we get to figure out how it works. If we're going to see new creatures. I'm just going to keep going this way. Hopefully everything will be fine. Some burned looking trees. Maybe. I'm sure it's fine. Huh. It's just mossy, ashy looking stuff. Just a river? Rivers are fine. Where's the campfire? Oh. Well, I'll want to cross the river eventually, but I might as well go the way that I'm supposed to and go visit this campfire. Man, I'm sorry, folks. I know that it's past 10 o'clock, but I don't want to be over. I don't want to be done yet. <laughs> I don't want the only thing we've done to be, um, to be the, uh, the cauldron, which was very exciting. I feel it was quite exciting. Um, but we don't necessarily have to go to the maker's end. That's what I think we'll wind up doing is our long-term goal. I do, I have not used the expansion, no. This is interesting. This is telling me that there are bandits here. They do a good job of establishing where there are bandits. Maybe there aren't bandits, but somebody burned down this bridge. And it appears that there's somebody I can give a... It's still the same, and the same, um animals I do wonder so where oh there is a bandit camp up there okay well whose quest is this over here oh my god that data point just being where it was just like oh my god we'll Doesn't wash away the sense for now mine included who is it Oh. Hi, Nil. All right. Yeah, we'll do this later, Nil. Should have figured. Should have figured. Sorry, Nil. But I'm not going to do that right now. Breaking his heart. He'll live. <laughs> He will live. The boy will live. Apparently they're a popular pairing on AO3, so who knows? Alright, well it's good to know that we can do more with Nil's story, because now that I know that the bandit camps have Nil's story, I am interested in him as a character, you know? So I will absolutely do those. Also because I get to rescue people, which is good different kind of mountain. Well, we could run up the mountain, but probably shouldn't. Oh, what, the fact that people like them as a pairing? I do wonder how much of it is people being like, there's depth to him. He's not just, he's not just a killer. Aloy will show him the way, you know? All right. Uh, there's, there, no, come on, come on, no, oh, come on, oh, 
Yeah, no, I figured that's what you meant. I mean, look at this. There's like nothing here, though. They don't expect you to do this. Fair. Unfortunately, game developers, you uh, underestimate my determination to be a Skyrim horse. So we're going to Skyrim horse it. Ooh, new music. Oh, actually, this is this is the way to do it. It's actually up here in the in the mountains. What are you doing in the mountains, sir? There's the path. There it is. I see it. Oops. Can we get there safely? I don't know. Oh, oh shoot, I don't want to be here right now, do I? How do I get up there? Oh, Aloy. How do we climb up this? Oh shoot. Not like that, apparently. There's gotta be a way. making some awful noises. There's a whole bunch of those guys. Alright, let's see if we can figure out how to get up. How to get up there. I get up there oh I mean that's how I get down but how do I get up hold on how on earth do I get up there I didn't see easier when I was a kid. I didn't see any yellow. Oh, there is a grabby ledge. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness, Aloy. Okay. Oh, that's that's fair ah we got it okay Pharaoh I guess we'll see how Pharaoh is pronounced I think I've forgotten that automated solutions that's not the spire though well, shall we? This is definitely not something that exists in our time. A pocket shit storm tour, day one. Where better to start than at the end? Or where the end started, anyway. Round zero. Where it all came crashing down. My career first, then everything else, and I mean everything. Yeah, the whole world. 
his career. Yeah, so it did have something to do with him. All right, let us do this, shall we? Oh, yes, yeah, so I've missed almost all of set two. This is the beginning of set three. Found in Maker's End, so this area is Maker's End. Pharaoh being the maker, perhaps, actually, instead of Elizabeth. <laughs> All right, you ready? Pharaoh Automated Solutions. Hi, Ma. Remember how ecstatic we were when I landed a job here? Aerospace Control Engineer at Pharaoh Automated Solutions, straight out of Stanford U. Saturday, I was tossing a mortarboard. Monday, I'm an employee of the biggest corporation on Earth. Starting wage, six times basic. It was a dream come true, yours as much as mine. When I found out I'd landed the gig, I waited until graduation day to tell you in person. You were so proud, you hugged me five minutes straight, laughing and crying at the same time, saying over and over, onwards and upwards, the start of great things. I thought so too. It seemed as though nothing bad would ever happen to me, to us, ever again. But bad did happen, of course. More bad than I ever knew was possible. And while I can't blame FAS for making you sick, Metallurgic gets the credit for that, I can sure as hell blame Pharaoh for the rest. But let's talk about the end of the world later. It plays a part in this story, of course. If I hadn't found out what was coming, I wouldn't be doing this, leaving these time capsules behind. But the apocalypse isn't the story I want to tell. This is going to be about our family, about us. It's time to get going. I've spent enough of my life in the shadow of this place. I've got 11 more vantage spikes in the trunk of the Sabara I rented and some pretty good ideas for where to sink them. So let's get the hell away from this place and start sinking. So this is the first one he puts down, huh? This is technically the first one? A pocket shitstorm day tour day one. Yeah. So he drives across, leaving these time capsules intentionally, knowing he's leaving a time capsule for the in the end of the world for somebody to maybe find someday so that his mother will be remembered. Because who cares about the bad guys? Who cares about politics? Who cares about corporations and money and all of that? He never got to tell his mother. Thank you. And he never got to tell her that he loved her as much as he wanted to. So instead, he's decided to immortalize her. So that she is the one person immortalized. Not him, not his name, not, not any of this. I'm sorry, that's really beautiful. When he says, the apocalypse isn't the story I want to tell. It's, it's us. It's our family. Because we matter. Maybe he is just a cog in the machine. Maybe he was just somebody who worked there. And he found out that the apocalypse was coming. And he decided to prepare for it as best he could by doing this. But he didn't bring about it. Bring it about. Aerospace control engineer. Doesn't sound like he's the sort of person who would be working with you know, building the AI and, and becoming the metal devil that I thought he might be. So he might just be a person and he's the one whose story, because he wanted to focus, because he wanted to leave something behind to be remembered by, just as the people who were in the bunker wanted to try to give humanity a second chance. And you might wonder like, why, if everyone is going to die, why bring them back? Why, why reintroduce humanity? What is so special about humanity? The humanity deserves a second chance. You can't save these people. You can't save the people in the world now. You can just make more people later. Like, why? Well, because it's important to some people. At least that's, I mean, I'm mini golfing here. That's, that's me thinking about what I think the bunker is all about. But yeah. No, that's beautiful. At the heart of it is a human story. So maybe he's just a guy. Hmm. 
and they always give you a bunch of stuff. And where is the way down? There is a way down. There's the way down. Drop to ledge, we can do that. Whew. So the puzzle is very good and very interesting. Just a scrapper all the way out here. Huh. All right. I should stop here. I should go find the nearest campfire and save. So perhaps we'll continue down this way, trying not to get in trouble here. So much for being careful. Aloy, maybe if you keep your voice down. Aloy, I'm sorry. I'm gonna just try to not deal with any of that. There's a corrupted zone out here. Yes, I hear that there's enemies. Yes, I, I know that there's enemies here. Yes, very good. Okay, hold on. So that is oh 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 it's in a oh it's in ruins. It's in a it's in a city, not a bunker. I thought it was in a bunker. But I guess it's not. Huh. That's interesting. Can I sprint without worrying about noise? Because I'm seeing like my regular walk seems to still make noise. What are you? What are you, a bellowback? A corrupted fire bellowback. Yeah, we're gonna not go there. We're gonna go here. Yeah, I think we're gonna just not do that corruption zone. I thought that was the point of silent sprint, but it doesn't seem to be very silent. Well, I, uh, I found Maker's End. Oh, it is. It is totally... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I want to go in there and find everything. What is this? Ancient debris. Metallurgic. But this is pharaoh, not metallurgic. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I need to not, I need to not keep going. I, I need to. Corrupted watchers, acting as guards. Oh, okay, maybe we won't go in there. The eclipse and corrupted machines, cooperating. One happy family. Yep. All right, I guess we should probably stop. Shattered kiln. Huh. Snow chill itches. I want to go in and I want to raid every single one of these buildings. I really do. I need to shut down. I need to shut down. I'm gonna shut down. I'm gonna shut down. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna shut down. I'm gonna shut down like a good and responsible Lauren. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. So. That was pretty eventful, wasn't it? We got through a cauldron. And I, I guess it's safe to say that uh, next week we will be doing Maker's End. My goodness. My goodness. Well, we're definitely going to go to the equipment stash and see what this guy is all about. Well, I'm excited about this. I have no idea who this person in my ear is. No idea who this person in my ear is. Or how much knowledge they have or don't have. They don't speak like somebody. I don't know. I don't know. They don't speak in a way that makes it easy to identify who they are. Oh, I still need to go back out there, don't I? Oh, 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 there's things I need to do over here. Oh my god. There's so much to do! And there's towns I haven't been to, and things I want to- I don't know. But, 
Okay, we've saved. The notebook collectible. It's interesting to find. Metallurgic. Oh, it's a it's got it like coffee lid thing. Joe May Odyssey. I'm just I'm curious. And I don't know that any of these drone hop wayfarers. Like, I don't know why these are grouped together. I don't know any of this, but I'm really curious. So, so we'll figure out what's going on. Next week, we'll come and do this. And I guess I can tell people that we're going to do Maker's End. And if they have played the game, I guess they'll know what that means and be very excited about it. Well, this is the end of my stream then. Um, as a reminder to everyone, I will not be streaming Hades this week because I am going to an opera. I haven't been to an opera since I was much younger. So we'll see how it is. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I will be continuing to stream regularly for the rest, like the next couple of weeks. There is a week that I will be um, taking off on a Thursday. Um, but that is, uh, the, uh, the second. So that will not be affecting you guys anyway. I'll be back that Tuesday. I might be sleepy. Uh, I might be, I, I'm, I'm flying in at a terrible hour. Um, Monday night, Tuesday morning after that. But we'll see how it goes. I, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm going to go see the, the, the magic flute. One of the only Mozart things I like. Um, but yeah, no, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for joining me, as always. If you're not yet on our Discord, feel free to join the Discord. And uh, and uh, uh, if you want to join the spoiler chat where people talk about things in games that I haven't beaten, that is the place to go. It's probably not. Apparently, it's not super, super loud most of the time during Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, but, but there may be a few folks there um, hanging out. Um, also, uh, feel free to follow me on social media. I should probably update those links. Um, and yeah, there will be more Lauren content coming. I'm working on so many things. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Wooper. Thank you for keeping it alive. And I hope you all have fun. Everybody stay safe. Take care of yourselves out there. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we will, uh, we will resume this very exciting section of the game next week. Bye!